Hello and welcome to Open Boosters! Are you ready? Mm. That's good coffee. I'm ready. It's going to be fantastic. But you know what's better than what you're about to see? What you're about to see is Beta Starter. So go to Unhinged Magi and watch the Beta Starter video that is currently on Unhinged Magi. So not only do you get two dark packs to watch being opened, you get a Beta Starter craziness. Also, if you want, you can go and buy a mug. It's somewhere out there in the Teespring down below. But Unhinged Magi, whoops, over this way, better. Beta starter, boom! It's gonna be a great day. That's what I'm saying, it's gonna be a great day. All right, and here we go. 16 tradable cards of glory, two dark packs. Will one have a blood moon? Let's freakishly hope so, because we have yet, I think we've opened only one on the channel, but we've opened enough packs to get like 15 of them. I'm just saying, no, I'm just kidding. We haven't opened that many. But today we're gonna open up two. Ah, uh, two 16 tradable cards of glory. Maze of Myth? Maybe. We might get there. You never know. But beta starters always top the dark. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, the craziness of Tango Kelp. Mm-mm. Tango Kelp. It's what's for dinner. Wait, what? All right, we got our Tango Kelp here. Da -da -da -da. It's actually not a bad card. I'm just saying. Whippoorwill. Ah, uh, you know fall is here when Whippoorwills come out. Da -da -da -da. The whippiest of the birds. And there's our bug imp. And he's hunting the Whippoorwill inside the Tangle Kelp. That means that but bird it would be aquatic and so would the bog imp. Eh, bog imp, maybe. I don't know. There you go. And by the holy light. Yes, they're both dead, right? Yep, both dead. <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> Goblin Shrine. Da, 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 da. There's a party going on around here. There they go. Round and round those goblins. Deep water. We're in deep water now. Da, 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 da. Carnivorous plant. Oh, we have one more. I must have miscounted. Yep. Okay. There's the two big cards right there. I guess. Tango kelp and a whippoorwill. Not quite what the pack opening we were hoping for, but you never know. Squire! There's our squire. He's got his sword ready for his master knight. Da -da -da -da. Good artwork, though. All right. Well, that wasn't a maze of it or our blood moon. So let's just go ahead and crack it open on this one. <laughs> Come on, guys. Season of the Witch. No, nope, we got Flood. Oh, Flood's not bad. There's our Flood. I don't think I'd want to be trapped in that. Here it is. Two blue tap target non-flying creature becomes tapped. Yep, that'll slow down Jazam Jazoon. I'm just saying, it's worth the two blue at that point. Whew. Ah, the tower. Yes, yes indeed. But I do like the artwork for it. It's really good, it tells a story. It's so nice. More holy light! Yes! Alright, we're through it now. No more blood moon possibility. There's our elves. Look at them. They're happy to be here. Chant, uh, destroy that. Target enchant land is destroyed. Word of binding. Best card so far, I think. Well, maybe a little bit. Or a tango cup. But word of binding is fantastic. One of my go-tos. You get a bunch of creatures out, tap all their stuff, and then you just swing and you win. Yay! Swing and win. Ah, word of binding. So good. Goblin hero, I'm off center by big time. Oh, goblin hero. Whew. Pikeman. Pikeman are actually good. That first strike, 1-1. One, one. It's only one in a clear. Bands. Colorless. Fisher. And we're out of cards. 
Da, da, da. Well, that was a big swing and a miss. <laughs> but did you have a good time? There's another video out there to watch. It's a video store video on Unhinged Magi. But uh, that could be exciting too. All right, so hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment, and I'll talk to you again on the next one. Ah, we didn't get there. Nuts. All right, and we're back. Let's go ahead and extend this out to 10 minutes by looking at greeted cards of the dark. Yes, I do have some. Crazy. People of the woods. Now, these are not, these are not for sale, okay? All right, we got People of the Woods. It's a 9.5 basic. And then I got a great one here. Uh, Niall, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that's a great artwork. Terrible ability, but great artwork. I love that one. So cartoony and that kind of stuff. It's three green to put on the board. Four green, it regenerates a target creature. He's only a 2-2, two -two, but blinked off the void. Terrible card, but that artwork, fantastic. <laughs> I look at that and it makes me smile. We have Bob Rats. Yes, indeedy, Bob. There they are. We got two tens on those suckers. So fun, so fantastic. But here's a glorious one. Here's a glorious one. Season of the Witch. Ah, so much fun. We got ten on that surface. Look at Season of the Witch. So fantastic. So nice. I love it. Great artwork. Yes. Season of the Witch for days. I have another fun one here. Preacher. He holds a place in my heart. Look at that. Two 9.5s, two 10s. So close to perfection. Oh, look at him. Look at that artwork. I love the Preacher. So good. Ah, so much fun. That's a great card right there. Not so great of a card. It's a coal golem. Yes, indeed. You can... <laughs> Pay three, then you can sacrifice if you get three red. You know, for the five casting costs that you got to put down, and he's only a three three. But the artwork is good. The idea, dumb. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't care. Yeah, there might be a situation where you need three permanent red out there, but I'm just saying that's just stupid. <laughs> But here's a great one. This one I've had a lot of fun with. Merfolk Assassin, because all you have to do is make sure the other creature has an island walk, and then boom, that's the end of it. So, good combination would be the Erdan Jijin, uh, who gives a creature forest walk, but then when he gives that creature forest walk, you use a magical hack on him, which makes any creature that they have out in play get island walk, and then you can snap it with the Merfolk Assassin as soon as you're so you play blue-green, effectively. Blue-green, you got your Merfolk Assassin, you got your Dijin. Oh, crud, I'm just going to go get the Dijin. All right, and we're back. We have Merfolk Assassin craziness, and he, when he does his thing, he destroys target creature that has Island Walk. Ah, the craziness, right? And what I was saying before, if you have Aaron Dijin, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but there it is, and look at that artwork. Straight from Arabian Dance. Yes. So, anyways, during your upkeep, you must choose one of the opponent's non-wall creatures in place. So, if it's a non-wall creature, you got to choose it. And then until your next upkeep, the next one, that creature gains the forest walk ability. If opponent has no creatures, ignore this effect. So, now if you have that creature, you ignore the effect. However, you have something called Magical Hack. Now, what Magical Hack does, it replaces any card being played or already in played by replacing one of the basic land type with another land type. For example, you can chain Swamp Walk to Plains Walk. So this is perfect, right? So you change that to Island Walk, right, on, on Aaron and Dijin. Or, if you have some other kind of creature, you can alternate this and change it to Forest, and then that's fine too. So they're gonna walk you either way if it's Island or not. So you can change this to Forest, and then he can tap and destroy Forest Walking creatures, right? And then he can make them forest walk and then boop, destroy, boop, destroy, boop, destroy as he's turning in creatures into forest walk. So it's actually pretty nice. Right there. Okay, so that's pretty good, right? Nice. Yay, all right. So that explained that and now Ariel, these will go away. <laughs> Back to looking at dark cards. Yes. Hope you all enjoyed that. Took me a little while to get everything set up because I had to go find the cards. Crazy. All right, so now we have a goblin wizard. 
Who likes Goblin and the Wizard? So good, right? Tap, take a goblin from your hand and put it directly in play. Treat that goblin as if it were just summoned. Oh, yeah. Or target goblin gets protection from white, which is fantastic as well. Goblin Wizard is a very good card, very nice card, and very fantastic card. The casting cost is appropriate. Everything about it is great, except for this 1-1. One, one. I wish it was 1-3. Uh, I don't know. You know, I mean, I know 1-4, you makes it bolt safe, but 1-3 seems to make sense to me. All right, we got our nameless race. Ah, huh, so sad. They're always trying to find a name. Nameless race, trying to find a name. But the artwork's pretty cool. I like it. All right, there you go with that. Now we have our Tangle Kelp. Not the Tangle Kelp we just opened, because this one's a little better in my opinion. Still, uh, it's got decent edges, but centering nine, eight point nine point five right here. So there you go. Nice Tangle Kelp. Craziness. Now we got people who like to hang out in caves called cave people. I mean, it's a thing. They just say, hey, let's hang out in a cave. And then they have fun. Now we have living armor, just in case. Because if you have living armor, it's not dead. and won't start to get stinky. And you don't want stinky armor, because that'd be terrible. Now look at those grades, man. Two tens, a 9.5, and a 9 and quarters. Artwork's fantastic, too. So nice. And the flavor text. So good. And then we've got Tavorian's Crusade. All goblins destroyed. And look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks painful. Poor goblin. Man. So bad, right? Oh my gosh. Oh. Don't worry, we have a calendar here. We can tell what time it is. Yes. Nice. Nice little stone calendar there. Craziness. Got our basic 9.5. And the Brothers of Fire. Yes. Huffing and puffing. Crazy. It's getting that red flames going. Brothers of Fire. It's like some kind of thing that you would see in Vegas, you know? You know, nice little Brothers of Fire show, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think? Think that make a good show? <laughs> Eternal Flame! Going with the Brothers of Fire! They love Eternal Flame because, I mean, they're Brothers of Fire. Why not? Dun, 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 dun. But if you ever walk on the wild side, try to find the hidden path. I'm just saying. It's right there. Got a tin on that surface. Hidden path! For days, all green creatures have forest walk. Or do they? I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a good thing I found that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do that. I don't think I'd stop the camera to just go make that joke. All right, we got a Gama Shrine. We opened one today, but this one's a little better centering. But this one says nine centering, so it's got to be like an eight centering or something nonsense like that. That's going to be crazy. But Goblin Shrine for days. Da -dun -dun -dun. And watch out for land leeches. Land leech. I mean, it's just one of those things with a forest walk. Land leech. Ten on centering, though. Perfect centering. Yes. There's our land leech centering. Oh, yes. Land leeches. Yummy, yummy. Ugh. All right. War barge. I remember when I thought this was an Arabian Nights. Oh, God. What was I thinking? There it is. War barge. Island walk. Get your merfolk assassin. He's ready to pump. He's ready to do it. And he's got ten and a ten. Look at that 10 out of 10. So nice. Alright, and now we have our Scarwood Goblins. They're scarred, and they're goblins, and they're green and red. Just in time for the... Never mind, it's still Thanksgiving. It's too early yet. Alright, Maze of Ith. Get in there. It's just a basic. It's all I got. It's the highest grade I've gotten. Oh, poor Maze of Ith. There he is, though. Maze of it hanging out and having fun. The artwork is creepy. Yep. Huh. Alright, but that's the Maze of It, everybody. And then one of my favorite artworks, Blood of the Martyr. Ah, so good. I've got the shirt. Yes, indeed. So good. There's the grades. I like that one in 10. Just because of the artwork. Now we got our Elves of Deep Shadow hanging out with you. Hello. You're taller than me, that's why I'm looking up. 
<laughs> and then our and then our is saving elves. Trying to make that work. No worky. And we have Uncle Estamon. He's the one who comes over and hacks up all your friends and then says, Hey, what's for dinner? Yes, Uncle Estamon. Doesn't everybody like Uncle Estamon? So good. Ah, Uncle Estamon, you got your skulls. You, just, you know, you really should put those away sometime. They, they, they kind of smell some, you know, I'm just saying. Ugh. And then, Worms of the Earth. They're there. there. And it looks like they're ready to eat you. Watch out, little man. Or bird. Nice as a man. I always thought it was a bird. I didn't really pay attention to that. Looks like a dude who's going to hit that and fall into a whole bunch of worms of the earth. <laughs> Alright. The ground collapsed, leaving nothing but the great worms. Mucus, re mucus residues. Alright, well, cool. I guess they can... Maybe see if that can turn into oil. I don't know. All right, there we go. Worms of the earth, and that'll be it. And I'm sure we're over the 10-minute mark because we're like eight minutes right here. I already paused the camera and everything else. All right, hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment, and go check out the beta star. Just do that. That's going to be fantastic. And maybe check out Teespring. See if there's something that you want. I don't know. It's down below. Yay! All right, talk to you again on the next one.